If you want a cheap and lag free unturned server, I suggest sticking around. Hey guys, Marsh Games here, and Host Turned is a fairly brand new server hosting website for Unturned. Now, you do pay for it like every other server hosting website, but this is very cheap for all of the things you get. So, for just $5.99, which is Unturned Bronze, you get 10 slots. This is be for a few of your friends. There is absolutely no lag in DDoS protection, a strong i7 processor, and unlimited storage. That goes for all of these, by the way. All of them have web panel login. All of them have web FPT and FPT access. Now, you might not know what this is, but this is the ability to put in mods and maps and rocket plugins into your server. They all have server console access, so you can type in commands in the game while it's running. It, they all have scheduled restarts and backups. You all have Discord and mail support, and if you get the unturned gold, you have VIP Discord and mail support. Every single one has no subscriptions and no risk a monthly renewal. Uh, if you get unturned bronze, the Maya SQ database, uh, this is for if you want to have economy, you're going to have to have a database to save everybody's information. If you have like a money command or something like that, for the unturned bronze and unturned silver, you're going to have to pay an extra $1.25 per month. Uh, but if you get unturned gold, you get it completely free. Every single plan has automatic server updates. That means it updates your game when uh, unturned, it updates the server when unturned updates, and it updates the rocket plugins and all the mods and maps that go along with that. And every single plan has 99.99% .99 uptime. I guess they can guarantee 100%. Now, if you don't want to pay for an entire month to check it out, you can literally pay $2.99 for three days. I have not seen many unturned server hosting websites out there that have this feature, and I think this is really going to bless you if you want to check out their high-performance servers. If you just want to check it out yourself, get familiar with everything, you can pay $2.99 for 72 hours, which is three days, and you can you have a strong i7 processor, you have 24 slots. It's basically unturned gold but sadly you do not get a mysql database because that actually does take a fairly amount of time to set up for any of the plans you get all of these abilities i'll go over these navigation web panel and console features once we're inside and but if you want to get support from discord you can just click connect you make sure you have discord like who doesn't have discord these days but anyways host turn is currently hosting 56 unturned servers and if you want to have a live chat you can click right here and uh, enter a message of whatever you need help with and probably within the next about five minutes or so host turn will probably get back to you so to buy your server let's say you want unturned gold you, you uh most some lawns are walk the dog for your neighbors and you have uh 15.99 a month well basically 16 dollars you can get that per month and let's say you want to order this and so it's going to take you to another page here unturned server order for host turn Information the prices below are monthly prices. You not you do not pay like fifteen ninety nine all time. So personal information, uh, you put in a name. Uh, you don't have to put in your real name. Uh, like literally, I could just put in Marsh Games, Marsh uh, Tab Games. Oh my gosh! And then your email. Uh, don't put a fake email here because you're going to want to actually receive an email because once you order it's going to send you an email of all the things you're going to need for uh, login information mysq database information so make sure you put in your correct email and put in a password that you're going to remember don't put in like host turn one two three you're totally going to get hacked make sure to select which server you want we're going to go with unturned gold the mysql databases uh if you if you have one it's obviously nothing because it goes it, it's included in premium which is unturned gold uh but if you want one it's $1.25 a month for the unturned silver or bronze, or you can get two for $2.25 a month. But you only really need one, unless you're going to have two different MySQL databases for your plugins. Personally, if I were to get unturned silver, I would only get one MySQL database because I'm only going to, I would only have Uconomy, which is, which only needs one database is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to click one, click unturned gold, 
And server location, currently there is only one location, which is Frankfurt, Germany, and Europe. The plugins, uh, you have a ton of plugins here, so I'm gonna go over uh, just a few of them. I'm not gonna like go over every single one, but plugins you can already install for you. So let's say you want TBA, click that. Max skills, click that. Uh, join, leave, join slash leave messages. We want that. That's nice. Home plugin. That's nice. Do not click kits. Click U Essentials. U Essentials has kits inside of it. Economy. Get Economy if you want that. Uh, let's see what else. Kill for XP. That's kind of cool. And then a group limiter. That might be nice. You can enter a one month free host and giveaway. Just click yes. Like you always have a chance of winning. And then your Steam 64 ID, so we can know you're already admin. Uh, you don't need this or. It's not needed by default. I'll show you how to put it in later. I'm just not going to go over how to get it yet. And then your PayPal email. Obviously, don't put a fake email because you actually have to pay for this. Put in your PayPal email. Apparently, you can only pay with PayPal for now. And then if you have a coupon code like Marsh Games, uh, you get 10% off your order for all time. So it won't just like take off 10% on the first month. It'll take it off all time. So put in Marsh Games as a coupon code and you can get 10% off your order. So once you order that, within 30 minutes or so, you should receive a email from host turned. Now I'm going to click on this, and there's some information here that only you should know, or a friend, if your friend is helping you set up the server. So as you can see here, we have the uh, web panel login. This is, I'll show you this, what this is, this is the essential part. And the MySQL database, now the MySQL database is very confusing to set up. Now if you want to see a video on how to set that up, it is used... It is set up with my PHP myadmin.co, which is not uh, a very familiar database website for me personally. I use the program my computer, and if you are gonna have economy like uh, money commands on your server, I suggest leaving a like, subscribing to the notification bell, and commenting down below that you want to see a video on how to set up the MySQL database. So the things that don't have to be private is the panel. Uh, but the name and the password I would keep private and all like this stuff down here for the MySQL database So I'm just gonna be focusing on the web panel right now. So the panel is called game.panel.de We're gonna copy that We're gonna go into a new tab and paste that And it will take us to a website. So if it says this site can be reached type in up here uh, before everything HTTP oh wait what type in HTTPS colon slash slash oh. okay something was wrong I don't know why it says uh, in the email it sent me game.panel.de type in panel.game.de now this is in Dutch or German I believe uh, so you probably can't understand this unless you're from that area or you, you took it in school but your user your ID username is from here's so the name copy the name and put in and put it right here so mine is one seven 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 wait wait no it's that yours will be different and your password obviously put in your password my password is i believe that click login now this is what it should look like once you're inside and you can click right here in the top right hand corner where the flag is and then click english or dutch if you really want to speak dutch but most people speak english so just click english that's a good feature and then right here you don't need uh go right here for the customer information go right here where it says game server we're going to click on this and here is our everything so before i show you how to set up everything and get everything started for your server I want to ask you here, I'm probably going to ask you in Discord as well, what kind of server do you want me to set up for everybody? It's going to be publicly available for everybody to use. Uh, so just let me know in the comments down below and I'll post it on Discord once this video is out. So like most server hosting websites for Unturned, you have your server overview which is like start, stop, and then reinstall, and then adjust slots and all that. Do not adjust slots because you paid for what you paid for. Don't adjust that. It's probably going to break uh, the server. Um, the IP address, that's what you'll put in to connect to it. Status, currently mine is started. Uh, you can start yours now because you have to start yours in order to actually work everything. And then we have our port and then password. Mine does have a password. And then a server name, I'll show you to change the minute. Games right here. This is Dutch. Uh, we can translate this, yes. Uh, Alright, I don't have any games. So, don't worry about the games. Go to configuration. And right here, own description. Uh, this is Marsh Games Who's Turn Server. Now, this isn't actually like your server name. This is just like what your description will be for up here. Profile name, don't worry about that. Manage by web interface. Uh, do not click FPT. So, FPT, 
uh, you have to install a program called FileZilla. It's very old, it's kind of outdated, but it still works. It's not outdated. It, it still works. And it's very confusing, so I'm glad they have the web web fpt because you can upload files directly to the website so now uh we should click rocket mod plugins we're gonna accept that it's going to uh install it for us then go to the server overview restart your server and now in the commands.dat we have a few things we're gonna change here the password now you can see it crap i'll change it by the time this video is out don't worry set your password whatever you want uh so i'm gonna set mine to one two three oh <laughs> So, and then name, uh, call whatever you want, call my Marsh Games host turn, 24-7, no lag, rocket. And then welcome message, the new bold and italicize and color commands for text has now been implemented. And so I just did, uh, welcome to bold, Marsh Games, and then color, I believe, was green, host turned, uh, server. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not gonna show you where to find this, you can just, like, look at this or something i don't know the chat rate and the cycle leave that to what it is you can change chat rate if you want so people can chat faster cycle is 3600 that is how fast the day and night goes by leave that as it is that is by default now the map it's probably going to be set to pei in the beginning uh mode is easy it changed pve or pvp if you want to have pvp now the owner now this is where the steam 64 id comes in there are a few ways to find this now the way that i have figured out how to find it is probably you're probably gonna comment down below there's a simpler way to find it i know there is i just i don't know how to do it so the way i do it go to the steam community uh dot com and we're little oh, no just go to steam dot com and we're going to log in and once we're in go to just click on your name up at the top and right here it says steamcreenie.com slash profiles and then this is a big number this is your id copy this i know again there are simpler ways to find this this is just the way that i know how to find it so copy that and paste it right here where it says owner it's gonna say owner and then space steam 64 id or something like that delete where it says steam 64 id so it just says owner and then the number right here so paste that number in and so this will make sure that you are always admin even if somebody uh like does a command on admin and then your name just to prank you or something now the bind and port don't do anything there because it's already binded to the server ip and port max players do not change that you're gonna break your server because you already paid for uh 10 slots 16 slots or 24 slots now that is everything that has been added by default you're gonna to want to add three more commands in order for your server to uh really work and be the best uh so perspective make sure you put perspective both if you don't put this um you'll never be able to go into third person unless you don't want to go in third person you're making an arena server that's fine uh workshop make sure you do workshop enabled if you if you don't want workshop items like why wouldn't you want mods or maps uh just don't put this here and then cheats enabled uh put that in so other people that are admins besides you can spawn in items once you're done with everything click accept down here and it's you have to restart your server uh, to change your configuration and then now we can go to the config.json now this is if you you might see this in single player that might seem familiar you can change a lot of the stuff here this zombies i changed to the uh, 20 percent chance of spawning and you get a 55 chance of dropping loot i'm gonna change to 100 chance actually uh let's see go where it says web ftp and here you're gonna be able to upload files now if it says you have failed to log in you have to have your server started up in order for this to pop up. Now once you're inside of here, we're gonna go down to where it says servers, and this is your server, click on this folder. Now go down, we're gonna start with the workshop mods. Go to workshop, click on maps or content. If you want content, which is basically just a regular mod, click on that. If you want maps, like the new map I just showed off, which is Alaska, click on that. I'm gonna go to content, and then right here, little upload button we're gonna click that and we're gonna click upload folder now we're gonna find the folder that we are gonna download from so it's gonna take a little bit of time to find but the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna click on where is it oh my gosh look at this there we are go to program files times 86 go down to where it says steam it's usually under Skype there it is go down to where it says steam apps go down to workshop go into content Go into 304930 and then go to the mod that you want. I know mine was the very first one I installed, so it should be by theory this one. 
This one. Yes, this one right here. Can we, can we go inside? Oh. Oh, this is Alaska. Okay. Cool. Is it this one, maybe? Okay. Oh, this is the dubstep gun. Okay, I'll implement this. Uh, so, we're just going to click this folder here. And then click OK. And it's going to upload everything. So, we have, looks like, nine files to transfer. If you're downloading, if you're uploading a map, it might take a lot longer. Because it has, like, 500 files or so. Because it's to upload all the navigation and then the environment and all that stuff. Uh, depending on your Wi-Fi, it will take between, like... A few seconds to a few minutes, uh, hopefully not hours, <laughs> to upload to the WebFPT here. So we have six of nine files uploaded. There's seven, eight, and nine. Almost done. And there we are. So this is now implemented in a server. Now if you want to have maps, click on the maps. Click on upload. We're going to go to upload folder. And we're going to go to that exact spot where we went again so we'll scroll down steam apps here we are so i believe mine is here is 39 49 30 it's this one nope 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 alaska here we are so we're going to click alaska uh or whichever map you downloaded click ok and uh there we are so as you can see there's 413 files to upload now this might this could take a few minutes so i'm just gonna wait for this to upload after a few minutes the map is now done uploading so make sure you know the name go where it says commands.dat and we're going to go to where it says map and yours is probably set to be by default change it to whatever name the map is and it is case sensitive so make sure you correctly spell your map with the cases uh, click accept and we'll save that and there we are as you can see we are in uh, and we are admin because we put our Steam64 ID, and as you can see, it, it's not single player, it's the actual server, 1 of 24, this is an actual server. So, one, uh, two things I'm going to show you, uh, first of all, is, oh, we don't have to do slash give, we can do slash I288, or we can do slash I, uh, bedroll, and it will give us a bedroll. I'm going to put the right one down, however. And so now if we claim this, as you can see, we put in the plugin for the home command, so just do slash home, like that, we will go... Home now, there is a cooldown of five seconds. Um, I believe as an admin, we surpass this. Yes, as admin and as owner, we do surpass all of the restrictions that apply to any regular players. And the last thing I wanted to show you was uh, what's it was the uh, dubstep gun. So the ID is I don't know. <laughs> so we're just gonna type in uh, quotation marks dubstep. Spet, dub, dub, <laughs> step, like that, and we get our dubstep gun. Oh, it's slash I'm an idiot. The mods do work as well as maps. Mine just bugged because I uh, del uh, deleted it and then re-uploaded, it, so it probably got confused. But if you're doing it for the first time, it probably should work. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you find Unturned a very, very convenient server hosting website for you. Again, you can pay $2.99 for a 72-hour test server and see how everything is and just like try things out and stuff like that. If you enjoyed this video, you're probably going to like some of my others, so make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. Uh, we just passed 1,600, so thank you for that. We also passed uh, 200,000 total views. That was pretty cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.